Hello everyone, my name is Epic Sworn and welcome back to Book of the Week. It's been like three weeks since I did this, so I apologize, but it's back now and I'm gonna try and keep doing it weekly as I've been wanting to. Also, I don't know if you guys can see that because I only barely tested the camera angle, so I have no idea what you guys can actually see there, but it's snow on the mountains and it's getting kind of chilly out here, so I won't be able to shoot these outside very often anymore. So you guys better appreciate it while I do, okay? So hit that like button for recording outside in the beautiful fresh air and the sun and the good lighting. Anyways, let's get on with the review. So this week's book of the week is The Science of Interstellar by Kip Thorne. My mom got this book for me from the library, I think like two or three weeks ago now at this point. Uh, it's a really, really neat book if you like, like science textbooks, I guess but it's not exactly a science textbook. I mean, like, it's got, you know, all kinds of amazing images and diagrams and stuff that explains, like, everything you could ever want to know about space in it. Um, I didn't read the entire thing because, as you can see, it's really dense. It's got a lot of sciencey stuff that goes into it. Um, I'm actually thinking about going to the University of Alaska Fairbanks next year to study space engineering. One of the things I wanna do is build spaceships. Like, I wanna become a rocket scientist. I think that would be great. So overall, the book is, you know, it's it's kinda like a science textbook, but it's written, uh, I mean, it's written by a guy who writes science textbooks, Kip Thorne. He's, um, I forget what else I'd read from him. I'd read something else by him. It also has a foreword by Christopher Nolan, who's the director of Interstellar. By the way, if you guys don't know, I really, really liked Interstellar. I would have given Interstellar like a six out of five stars if I had reviewed it when I watched it. I'd be happy to do a review of it and just be a really late review. Anyway, so um, it, it's, I mean, it's like a science textbook, but at the same time, it's, it's really good because it's got, it's written in such a way that's more entertaining and not just, you know, dull science talk. And, uh, I found it really informative and really interesting and if you like space, it's just got so much about space They've got sh screenshots from the movie. I don't know if you guys can see that they they've got thing uh, Focusing on the chlorophyll concentration on, on uh, extraterrestrial planets You know basically everything you could want imaging of a gravitational slingshot. This one is uh, a Diagram on how black holes work and bend the light around them um, Let me see if I can find my favorite one. I hope you guys can still hear me over this wind. Here's one of them. Uh, this is Gargantua's accretion disk and missing jet. Uh, so basically how it it talks about um, Gargantua is the name of the black hole in the movie and it talks about how basically Gargantua's disk is only a few thousand degrees like the Sun's surface, so it emits a lot of light, but little to no X-rays or gamma rays. So it would be like having a sun that didn't burn you, which, if you ask me, would be really nice. Why you burn me, sun? That's really all I have to say. Like I said, I didn't read the entire book because there's just so much, you know, it's it's like buying and reading a science textbook for, in, for the fun of it. Which, I mean, I love science and space and, you know, I think that is so cool and I want to design spaceships and go to Mars and, you know, all that. It, I think it's awesome. Um, so I really enjoyed reading this. It was really dense, so I fell asleep to it, I think, once or twice, which doesn't really speak that good about it. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about it, so I'm going to go ahead and give it my star rating. The Science of Interstellar earns a four out of five stars for me. So as I was saying, this book gets a four out of five stars from me. It's, you know, it's a really good science space book. It's not really entertaining. It's not really supposed to be a book that you would read for fun, I don't think. It's more supposed to be like, you know, if you want to see the, the science of Interstellar, you can read the book and it, it's cool, I thought, anyways. My mom actually got this from me from the library. Uh, it's probably at your library too, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, I don't know if it's a book that I would buy, but it's definitely one that I'm gonna keep reading. Um, I just hadn't had time to finish it yet, so. Yeah, that's all for now. Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss my weekly episodes where I review a book every week. I am also talking about Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Quantico, all the other Marvel Netflix series, and all kinds of awesome stuff. So make sure you subscribe for all kinds of fun, nerdy, awesome content with me in it. Yeah, I'm also doing other stuff sometimes too, so make sure you subscribe for that. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Wow, I totally screwed that one up. I love you guys. Peace. Bye.